Mrs. Olufumilayo Agbato, the Executive Vice President of Animal Care Services Council. We started business in the recent in October 1979 as consulting firm to other farms, helping other farms, troubleshooting for other farms. About two or three years after, we started practical poultry farming here in Ogiri with about 5,000 dale chicks. And then with the intention of helping farmers to grow quality point of lip bullets. We did this for a while and gradually we expanded. Today, we have expanded that point of lip business and we now produce over 1.5 million point of lip bullets on our farm. A substantial part of which is sold out to other farmers across the country. Our point of lip business is so popular among farmers that we have patronage from the north, from the east, and uh, from different parts of Nigeria. I am Dr. Anthony Costa, who functions as the CWO for the egg production unit of the farm operations area. We have three sections. One is the brooding section, number two is the growing section, and number three is the laying section. We bring day old chicks from external customers. We grow till five or six weeks in the brooding section with a highly nutritious feed, with a high quality water, and the regular immunization program. It stays as long as we need to keep the birds. During all these months, we put our attention into giving these laying birds a good nutritious feed, good quality feed, and a good biosecure environment. We practice regular deworming and a regular medication program if and when necessary to get a good quality egg. In the year 1996, we started egg brandy. Then to many it was like a, a waste of time. But Animal Care being a forward looking organization, we went ahead despite a lot of discouragement from fellow farmers and friends in the industry. Our campaign for other farmers to follow suit is a already yielding result. We now have other farmers doing the same thing. We could confidently brand them because uh, we were sure of what we were producing. While many would say egg is egg, we here know that uh, egg is not egg. And that is why Fontuna eggs stand out anywhere and anytime. We produce good quality eggs. We are particular about the quality of our eggs. And this quality is achieved by the quality of the feed. We feed the birds with. And that test of the quality of uh, the feed that we sell commercially. Initially, we were buying our feed when we started the farm business. Later on, we started producing. And eventually, the excess capacity, we started selling feed to the third party. Today, we are one of the biggest local player in the feed manufacturing business in Nigeria. I'm Dr. Akintola Peter. I'm the DGM Technical Commercial Operation, Anifit. Anifit is the business feed manufacturing uh, division of Animal Care Services Consultant, Nigeria Limited. Um, we have a combined production capacity of about 750 metric tons per day. 
at our three production plants all over the country. Uh, the first production plant is located at Ogiri, where we service um, our Western customers. We also have another production plant at Kano. Uh, we service our Northern customers from that production plant. And the third one is located at Asaba, where we service our customers who are located in the southeast and um, the south-south region of the country. We hope very soon to go into the north central part of Nigeria to be able to produce feed, especially for ruminants, especially looking into the possibility of uh, helping in this uh, age-old issue of the the husband and the farmers. We believe if we're able to have compounded feed for cattle, the need to drive animals across the country in search for forage will be reduced. Uh, we've been given quite a number of awards um, as, as a division. Um, one of them is um, an award of excellence by the Poetry Association of Nigeria the national body. I've also been given an award by the Poetry Association of Nigeria, the Lagos State Branch, which is an outstanding company award. We have also been given an award by the Western Agri Summit in 2011 uh, because of our contribution in terms of the provision of high quality products, uh, specifically for small and medium um, um, farmers in the country. My name is Dr. Tunde Ifemade. I should pretend Animal Health Department of Animal Care Services Council Nigeria Limited. My name is Dr. Daniel Aduta. I am the National Sales and Marketing Manager for Health Products of Animal Care Services Council Nigeria. Close to four decades now, Animal Care has been pioneering innovative solutions in the animal health uh, aspect of the livestock industry in Nigeria. Animal Care has pioneered herbal veterinary medicaments. Globally now, antibiotics are being curtailed in the livestock industry. And Animal Care has been in the foremost of promoting herbal products in order to combat this situation. In doing all, all this, we also have been recognized. We have one or two recognitions along the line, being modest, both locally and internationally. One of such is the, the MVMA that's professionally from the veterinary community in 2004, again 2006, 2011. And internationally, the Indian uh, Academy of Science also have recognized us in also to appreciate or in recognition of the effort that we have put in to ensure that both uh, food chains uh, food security and also animal health management is taken care of. My name is Dr. Dotsu Oladele. I am the CEO of the Technical Laboratory and Extension Services of Animal Care. And uh, the division was actually established about 15 years ago. What's really prompted it was a desire to ensure that the needs of farmers are met especially providing technical solutions. The division, as I then, started as a small unit in Lagos, and uh, gradually it has grown over the years. And uh, we have three departments. One is a diagnostic laboratory. We have branches in about five cities within Nigeria. We also have the feed analysis laboratory with about five or six branches also within the country. And we have the third department, which is very, very important. I'm speaking about the Extension Services Division. Um, generally, when we look at the situation in the industry, one of the areas where people run into problems and you know, begin to have crisis is where there is lack of technical knowledge for the operations on the farm. And that is where we have come to fill that gap in our Extension Services Division. But we have a training school called FIPAMAT. Why? To train people in the poultry business, to train people in the aquaculture business, even for those who want to go into the ruminants farming business. 
as much as possible, what we do here is to ensure that we meet standards and we let people know what the standards are to avoid losses in their operation. My name is Aushala Olushala, Head Care Tech Division. Care Tech is a division under Animal Care Services Consult, Nigeria Limited, where we handle livestock, housing and poultry equipment. At Care Tech, our job covers construction of poultry houses, donkey project, and we also do supply and installation of poultry equipment, starting from cages, install and service them. In Nigeria, we're presently the sole distributor of Gatek poultry equipment in India. We supply cages for automated houses and manual houses. Our cages ranges from uh, the Ultima, which is a fully automated poultry housing. Aside from that, we also supply them netting equipment that they use in covering the houses. And then after supplying the equipment, we take our time to check on the customers, uh, do maintenance services for them, supply them with spares at uh, intervals whenever they need them. At Care Tech, our service goes beyond just leaving the customers with the equipment we supply them. Uh, we visit them often to ensure they properly maintain their equipment and whatever support they need, we give them those support. Animal Care Services Consult and Nigeria Limited currently employs about 1,700 Nigerians in all its operations across the country. Do we believe here at Animal Care that our most important resource is our human resource? We do our best to take care of our staff. They enjoy free medical care. They enjoy at least one meal in a day and some other fringe benefits. We give back to the community in which we are based. Here at Ogiri, we have been involved in various uh, corporate social responsibility through provision of some infrastructures for the, all the schools here within the environment here, both primary and secondary. There is no public school here that we have not imparted building walls for them, building toilets for them water system, toilet facilities, sinking boreholes for them, allowing the community, members of the big larger community, to make use of the borehole facilities that were provided for them to draw water on a daily basis. We want to improve on our supply of points of lead bullets. And to do that, we want to make sure that we have assurance the chicks supply so that uh, at any given time farmers who have been enjoying our point of lead bullets will not be disappointed. And Makia has contributed immensely to the progress of the economy and it's still continuing. And uh, with this incursion into large animal and ruminant feed, I sincerely believe that we'll be able to provide some of those things that will reduce the tension between the, the husband and the uh, farmers. <laughs>